Four years ago, a week before my 26th birthday, I started a new role. It paid decently well, above the average salary, but I wasn't learning anything on the job, not any real skills that I could take outside of that role, and I certainly wasn't going to progress. It was a glorified admin role, and it was a dead end. But the real issue was that it was an easy job, a really easy job, and I got comfortable. It was meant to be what we Somalis call a shaka kumel gare. It was meant to help me get by whilst I kickstart my engineering career and I was only meant to be there for a few months. I stayed there for over two years. And after some time, I was given a two week notice that I'd be released from the role. It was a contracting role, so I didn't get any payout. Just a conversation, an email, and a pat on the back. I needed to get another job, but given my skills and experiences, I'd most likely end up doing another customer service role. But I'd done enough of that already and I wanted to move on to bigger things. And that's when my heart sunk to my stomach. Not because I'd lost a role, but because the harsh reality dawned on me. I'd become far too comfortable. I had not achieved anything in the last couple of years and I kept thinking, what have I been doing with my time? I forgot what it was like to go outside of my comfort zone. I got complacent and lost the fire and the ambition in me. And that was simply unacceptable. Yes, naturally I was concerned about the immediate issues at hand in trying to secure some sort of regular income, but the notice really did give me time to assess and ponder. I thought about my situation, what I wanted from life, my future and what my family deserves from me. Then the big question hit me, what happened to me? I used to be so ambitious when I was younger and I always felt like I had talent. And call it naivety or even arrogance, but when I was younger, I always felt like that things would work out and fall right into my lap. And I realized that 28, I had underachieved badly. I wasted a lot of my 20s, but I did enjoy a lot of it. And I needed to find something I wanted to do, something that I enjoyed doing. And the only answer that I could come up with was going into tech. I always was interested in tech and I had a natural affinity for it, but I had my doubts about getting in. I was skeptical. I didn't know anyone in tech. One of the worst psychological traps that you can find yourself in is believing that it's too late to change. That you are who you are and that's who you're destined to be. Having a fixed mindset. Have you ever wanted to do something but you've talked yourself out of it? Thoughts of self-doubt were strong but I pushed through. So when it came to this tech thing, I decided that I was going to work hard. I was going to work really hard and I put my all into this and I made sure that this time around I did not leave anything on the table. I turn 30 next week. 30. Hey man, 30 is that birthday. Remember I turned 30. 30 is scary. You know, 30 is that age where you realize I gotta get my shit together. And I recently got my first job in tech as a junior software engineer. Getting fired was the best thing to happen to me. It's not that I regret what I did in my 20s. I regret not seeing the world the way I see it now. But I'm learning to celebrate where I'm currently at, not looking backwards in regret, no looking forwards thinking about where I should be. The point of this video is that regardless of your age or situation, they do not define who you are and you have plenty of time to figure it out. I really was in two minds about making this video because you can come across really preachy making these type of videos, but I'm just sharing what I've learned throughout my journey. And if you're watching this video, looking for change or trying to figure it out, whatever that means, the internet has leveled the playing field just that little bit more. So whatever you set your mind to, you can definitely achieve. And it's impossible to connect the dots whilst you're in a state of transition. You can only connect them looking back. Anyway, I guess I'm really am turning old if I'm starting to preach to people now. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Mohammed, and I'll see you guys in the next one, inshallah.